Hey, this is Matt Marchant, and I wanted to share with you some things I've been learning about rock stacking, but not things I'm learning about how to rock stack. That's pretty simple. Stack some rocks. <laughs> um, I'm going to share with you some things I've learned about myself uh, doing rock stacking. So I wrote some things down, so I'm just going to read from my uh, sheet of paper here. So what I've learned first thing is to build slowly and how that applies to me for my life is I get fairly impatient and I think things should happen quickly whether it's in my personal life or professional life um, and when I rock stack it reminds me you must build slowly if you want to have a good rock stack if you build too fast the things just gonna fall down um, in business nowadays, businesses are set up, a lot of businesses are set up to just build real quick, um, do real good on the stock market for a year or two, make a lot of profit, and then get out. They don't care if the company lasts more than a year or two. And uh, the stockholders really don't care either. They're just looking to get in, make some profit, and get out. So that kind of culture creeps into our, our own personal and professional life where we think things should happen real quick. Uh, but rock stacking has taught me take your time and build it right next thing um, each rock that you pick up when building a rock stack has a perfect stack that it's going to fit into it might not be the stack that you're building at the time you might find out that you're building the stack and you have this rock and you're like this rock's gotta fit in this is too bitchin' of a rock man I want to put this rock in there um, the rock might might not be a, a good fit for uh, for that stack. So each rock has its own stack, and I find that how that relates to me is um, anything I, I, I get involved with, whether it's a creative project, um, whether it's a, a, a new person I meet, uh, a new thing I'm offered, uh, there's a fit for that. Maybe just not right now. Maybe I need to wait on it. Um, so again, having a little patience and making sure that everything in my life, it fits, not just trying to jam it in, stick it in and go, okay, we got to get this done because I had this thought. It helps me with my own creativity. I get a lot of creative thoughts and I think I got to get all this stuff done and I got to do it. There's a fit for it. It may be in five years though on a different rock stack, if that makes sense to you. It makes sense to me. Um, here's a cool one that I've learned. Once your rock stack is built, Move on. <laughs> a lot of times I'll build some rocks. You can kind of see my rock stacks up here. You see them out there. I'll build some rock stacks and I'm like, yeah, I hope those things are up the next time I come up here. Um, you know, that's my ego. I think wanting those things to, to, to be around a lot longer. But um, uh, I've taken that note from my kid. When he plays with blocks, it's build it, boom, smash it. Uh, just move on, build it and move on. Have fun, learn, and then get going. Um, that's, a, that's a good lesson for me for life. Um, next one, bigger is not necessarily better when you're building a rock stack. And as we talked about, longer is not necessarily better either, but what I'm finding out is more creative is better. What, I, what I've been doing with my rock stacking, at first I was like, I wanna see how big I can build these rock stacks. I'm going to build these things so damn big. It's going to be awesome. And then it was, I hope they stick around for eternity. I want this rock stack to never fall down. And um, now I've, I've changed a little bit. And now my rock stacking is more about how creative can I get. Um, putting in just odd shaped rocks. Making some cool designs with them. Um, that's what I've been doing lately. And so how that helps me with my life. It's uh, just being creative with life. And not uh, having to do these huge, big productions in business, um, but just being creative. Um, and the last one is, um, I think it's a cool one. You tell me. Um, each rock feels different. When I'm rock stacking, uh, bare hands are the best. Uh, you can feel the rock, especially when it's cold out here. Man, this, this ground is like frozen. The dirt's sticking on these rocks. The rocks are icy. They're cold. My fingertips are going numb. 
but it's feeling the rock is important to me when I'm uh, rock stacking. I'd go barefoot if I could, but literally it is so cold out here that uh, I don't think I could last. Um, so each rock feels different, and people are like rocks. Every person feels different. Um, some rocks, sometimes when you touch them, they're freezing cold. Sometimes when you touch a rock, uh, it can be really hot. I mean, right now, I don't know what the temperature is, but uh, in a couple hours, these rocks could be warm from sitting out in the sun, and it can change in an instant. People are like that. They can be cold one instant, hot the next. Um, also, too, what's cool about rock stacking, um, depending on where you're doing it, when you pick up a rock, you're not sure what's going to be underneath that rock. I found some really interesting bugs underneath some of these rocks. Bugs where I'm looking at them going, I don't, don't, <laughs> I don't think scientists have even discovered that bug. It looks so radical. I'm sure they have. But um, people are like that too. You start picking up rocks in people's lives and you're not sure what's underneath that rock. It could be something cool. It could be something where you're just wanting to take off and run from it. So uh, people are like rocks. And that's uh, rock stacking has taught me that. Um, the cool thing too about rocks, in order to feel them, you have to contact them. You have to connect with them. People are that same way, right? We have to connect to one another. We have to touch one another, whether that's physically, emotionally, spiritually, get involved in each other's lives in order to really feel one another and get connected. So that's, that's what I've learned with rock stacking. Um, it's more than just getting out and stacking rocks. There's a lot of benefits to it. Um, you know, getting your body moving, getting your mind resting. But those are some personal lessons I've, I've just discovered over the last couple years of rock stacking. So if you have some rocks, stack them. Uh, do it. It's fun. I'll step out of the way. You can kind of see some of the rock stacks I've been doing. But thanks for watching. This is my little thing on what I've learned personally from rock stacking. Thanks for watching. Uh, share your comments. Write a question. Like the video. Subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.